Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome to another episode of One Man and His Boat. I'm Barry, your host, and this gorgeous lady behind me is the Lindsay B. Now we're trying to finish off this steering console, and what we're going to finish off with is the throttle control. So that's all coming up in this episode. Hi guys, thank you very much for joining us on this vlog. I'm sorry about the light and the shed's a little bit dark this morning. Uh, so I've got my light here, so I'm, I'm sorry for the ghostly figure. Anyway, I've been hashing on with this uh, steering console and we're at the final stages of trying to figure out where everything's going to go. And I must admit, I have struggled to put this together with trying to fit it for the use of the boat and the amount of gizmos and gadgets I've got to go and the thing. But, We'll go into that once we get into more detail about the steering console. But for now, I've got to make one last decision, and that is about the throttle body. Now, the throttle body, this is not a paid promotion, by the way, that everybody thinks that I'm making millions and millions of bucks off of YouTube, eh, because that's actually quite the opposite. Everything I do in my channel is all self-financed, and I'm basically running out of dough, guys. So we better hurry up and get back to see <laughs> Anyway, what I have is a cobalt twin lever throttle body here and we've got to decide where we're actually putting it on the console. Now, I did have an idea about putting it here. However, if she takes a bad lie, she might be actually, it might actually lean against the wall or anything like that. So I'm still undecided about what I'm doing. It might still go here and I might build a handrail around it so it actually protects the throttle body, but yeah, like I say, a lot of thought process. However, I have struggled to find out how this actually thing operates. Now, obviously, it's got two handles. One's into gear, one's throttle. However, which one's which? Hmm. After a wee dig online, I actually found something that uh, basically it's dictates which is which. Now, these come in all different types of models. I've got the twin lever one. Uh, you can get electronic ones and everything like that, but because we're going to be out in the elements quite a lot, I need a quite a sturdy uh, throttle body. So this has got a stainless steel cover, it's got bronze, brass, uh, inners, I mean everything that you want to keep the sea and away from all the, the nice components inside. Now, what I figured out is this taller handle is actually the gear lever and it's all because of this. Does, it didn't click there. <laughs> you hear it in, in, the, in the middle section there? It's got a small click. Now apparently that's a safety thing for when you're in neutral. Uh, so you can tell that this is the actual gear side and this is the throttle side. Now if I'm wrong, please guys, please shout out and t tell me otherwise. But by the time I get this message, I'm about four vlogs ahead of you. <laughs> so it'll probably already be fitted. However, the thought's always there, eh? Uh, so, as far as the online goes, this is the gear side, the one with the taller handle, and this is the, th pardon me, and this is your uh, actual accelerator, forward and back. Okay, let's fathom out where we're going to put this then, shall we? Right guys, as you can see behind me, I haven't got a lot of space between the console and the pot hauler. So that's the reason why I'm not very keen on putting it on the uh, starboard side of the steering console because it's going to be near the ropes and everything like that and if there's any whip or anything it might catch the gear lever, put the gear, boat into gear we might get tail tied, we might end up in the rocks yes I know it sounds drastic but that's the reality of putting something in the wrong place is especially on such a small boat my only other option is to put it at that port side and basically protect it as best I can Right guys, we've figured out where we're going to actually put the throttle body but I just wanted to quickly show you the quick idea about what I'm thinking of off my actual panel itself. Now, 
I've had an open boat before with this type of steering console and this to me is the best scenario for my electronics that are going in it. Now what you want to do is keep all your good electrics far away from the water as possible and all the stuff that you use on the daily is close to where the water ingress is probably most possible. Hopefully we do a good enough job that we don't have any water ingress but it's water. It gets everywhere where you least expect it. Now what I've got here is obviously you use your uh, bulge pumps the most then your uh, switches and then obviously your radio as well so everything's just there at hand quick shout put it back and then all your good electronics i.e the most important one the engine one is stay nice and dry up the top corner out the road uh, obviously everybody has their own ideas about what should be put where but i think this will work best for the lindsay b in the way i work so I just want to give you that wee insight guys. What do you think? If you've got any comments, leave a comment below. Right guys, I'm so sorry, uh, I've got a day free hand at the minute because I'm on the outside of the boat, or the port side should I say, uh, there is nowhere to put the camera so I'm going to have to free hand you. Uh, as you can see we've got some sort of carcass here, all we'll have to do now is make it at the right height and the, we better get it at the right height because what we want is full free flow of the actual throttle body itself so there's no, no entanglement between the throttle body and the lid itself. So fingers crossed I've got my measurements right and everything else is going to be tickety-boo. Uh, run the front of it, if you come with me. Right, this section here, when we come to launch, if anybody says, well, that's not square, it's not meant to be bloody square. It's actually meant to be at an angle so the water can have a wee runoff because this side will be getting some sort of spray if there's rain water and all that. There's actually a little hole down here uh, and it runs the full length of the body here and it'll go on into the deck. So we're well covered that way, so water runoff. There's always a reason why I do everything guys, always. I've been thinking about this long and hard for many a year.
So guys, you can see what I'm trying to achieve with that throttle body area and I think I've quite nailed it. Uh, there's still more work for me to do but unfortunately daylight is now starting to fade. I really need to hash on so this is the end of your vlog I'm afraid guys. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, do your best by the channel and subscribe because that's the only way we're going to move forward and tick that notification bell and YouTube will make you feel very special indeed. And if you wish write a wee comment below. Think all those keyboards and uh, let me hear your thoughts. Right my friends, until the next vlog, all the very best.